Hey everyone, it's Tom here, coming at you with yet another video. Today I wanted to show off these four Spawn figures that I bought. This is my uh, most recent toy haul. Uh, some of these figures were on sale, so that's why I... Well, the first two were on sale, the other two were uh, I had to pay full price for. Full price being, I think, twenty four ninety nine. But the uh, the very first figure I bought was of Haunt, which I, I think was co-created by uh, Todd McFarlane, I think. And I actually have the uh, first four volumes of the Haunt comic book in trade paperback form. Uh, there's a fifth edition, but it's only digital. They never printed it. So unfortunately, I can't complete the story. But uh, I like Haunt. It's a cool character. I like the comics. And this guy was like five bucks off, I think. So it was like twenty dollars. And uh, I was—I I mean, I almost bought him at full price, twenty-five dollars. So when I saw him on sale for five off. I thought, yeah, it's, it's time to pull the trigger on this guy. The funny thing about this haul is I don't actually have any figures of Spawn himself. Um, I like Spawn. I, I was still reading comics and collecting comics during the 90s when Spawn first came out. In fact, I remember my dad took me to a comic convention and I got a copy of Spawn number one. <coughs> I, I think it was a reprint, but it was still cool to have. I like Spawn. Spawn's pretty, pretty fun character. So this is Haunt. Um, yeah, he's probably the character I have the most connection to in this haul, since I've read his comic. Uh, this guy, the Soul Crusher, I know nothing about. This guy was half off. He was like thirteen dollars. I just thought he looked cool. Um, he looks like kind of like a some kind of Batman wannabe. And, uh, he's on the back. I actually haven't read that much Spawn. Although I, I own a bunch of, uh, what are they called? Compendiums or, or some kind of trade paperback in, well, it's hardback form. And, uh, so I do, I do like the Spawn comics, but I haven't read a lot of them. This is Soul Crusher, a character I know nothing about. And since there's no description of him on the box anywhere, I can't really say what, who he is or what his origin story is. That's Soul Crusher. Okay, and, the, and these two characters, this character and the one I'm about to show you are both I paid full price for. This is a King Spider. And I know nothing about him except that he looks he looks really cool. Well, on the website they said um, he was a member of some kind of cult that was trying to bring about the end of the world, and that he looked like he he ended up dead. He was like impaled and left for dead, so he's probably dead. But he looks really cool. I really like the look of this character. And that's some badass looking art. King Spider. Okay, and then we'll go to the last figure. And this one I know nothing about also. I just bought him because he looked cool. It is Plague. And he's got the... Uh, what does the M stand for? Mephisto or... Marl Boga, Bolvia, or something like that. I don't know. He's a sweet looking character. And there's some cool looking art. Is that Greg Capullo and Todd McFarlane? So, yeah, guys, that's my haul for today. Just these four figures. Um,. I wanted to buy more, but funds aren't really allowing it. In fact, I probably shouldn't, I shouldn't have bought this, these four. Uh, I did just get into stock 
Well, I should say Big Bad Toy Store just got into stock two of the newest Gundam Universe figures. So those are in my pile of loot. Uh, but it's only two right now, so maybe when they release some more, I'll uh, have the box shipped to me and I'll make another video. But yeah, I got these four figures. I'm <laughs> trying not to buy toys, but I can't help myself sometimes. As, as maybe many of you can understand, um, toy collection is an addiction. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, have a nice day.